gentlemen in my hand here i have a sample of the brand new tom ford black lacquer even before its original release this was hyped up to the max and whenever it actually released every single person on the internet was talking about it so it's finally my time to give it a try talk about the scent profile the projection the longevity and in the end give you gentlemen a immense improvement rating of this fragrance tom ford black lacquer let's not waste any more time and let's begin so before i say anything i have worn this fragrance a few times and i have a tiny bit of a sample left for this review i have worn this fragrance i've given it full wearings multiple times and i've had the possibility to test the scent profiles longevity and projection and really go in depth with this fragrance but let's apply a spray here and talk about the scent profile of tom ford black lacquer so when i saw the note breakdown for the first time i already knew it would be something right up my alley it has notes of rum vinyl ebony wood ink and a few resinous embers and when i tried it i was so positively surprised because i was right it is something right up my alley this fragrance is going to be very dark smoky mysterious maybe off-putting for some but if you're looking for a slightly challenging unique fragrance i definitely think this is that the vinyl accord here smells very dark glossy and very very mysterious with a lot of depth and some hints of some smokiness as well the ink here also is slightly metallic but not sharp or anything but whenever this fragrance gets to dry and develop just a little bit you pick up on some very very minor fruity sweetness coming from some fruit notes and as the notes are listed it is an apricot accord and there's also some very very small and minor peony accord touches there as well but mostly it's going to become a very dark woody scent with the addition of ebony wood in here that is detectable because this fragrance becomes even darker even woodier and even more smoky in the late dry down and in the development of the fragrance this is for people who want a tom ford fragrance that is kind of reminiscent of the good old days of tom ford where every single fragrance that they released was a hit and in my opinion this is a giant hit and a huge w because it's potent it's dark it's deep it's mysterious and the best thing here is that it can be off-putting for some but for the people who really like it they will really like it and as i mentioned previously it is potent it's going to pack a punch and you're going to smell the fragrance around yourself for a few hours whenever you're wearing it because it is fairly strong and the combination of notes and accords really just stick together very well giving you this dark rest mysterious woody scent profile which is very intoxicating intense and super interesting which i think is such a well-made scent profile that this fragrance carries so overall this fragrance is going to be very dark smoky woody and there's also some minor contrasting accords like some fruity floral touches which i think balances out the fragrance very well but in my opinion i think this fragrance is very well made with an awesome scent profile especially for the fall winter season which we are in right now as of recording this video as i mentioned previously this fragrance is very potent and strong and talking about that let's move over to longevity and projection of tom for black lacquer because this fragrance consistently got me 10 to 12 hours of longevity which i was pleasantly surprised about and projection wise this got me a very nice scent bubble with one to two meters of projection for around two to three hours which then dried to a moderate and in the end amount skin scent i had a slight worry that the scent profile might have been very dark deep strong and mysterious but the projection and longevity would be lackluster which unfortunately some designer releases this year had the tendency to have but this was not only incredibly strong and intense in its scent profile but also had a long lasting staying power and longevity and projection which i am very happy about i want to talk about one thing before going into my final opinions and rating of tom for black lacquer and that is its price tag the 50m 
ML of Tom Ford Black Lacquer is going to set you back $380 retail, which I think is insanely expensive. But luckily for this fragrance's case, it kind of talks for itself in my opinion because of the unique, dark, intense and strong scent profile, the very promising longevity and the very good projection in my experience. So even though it is expensive, if you were to treat yourself with a very high quality fragrance for a very expensive price tag, I could consider this being an okay value for money, but I can't say anything else that it is insanely expensive for what it actually is. So my final opinions and rating of Tom Ford Black Lacquer is going to be very simple short and sweet because I feel like I've said everything important that I needed to say about this fragrance in the beginning of talking about the scent profile. I think this is a winner for Tom Ford. In my opinion this is one of the best fragrance releases of this year 2024 because I think it is unique, it's intense, it's strong. Even though it's expensive I can kind of seeing it being just a little bit worth it especially if you get it on a discount because I genuinely like how this smells and if I ever get the chance to pick up a bottle of this fragrance for a good price I definitely will because I really enjoy it. It is dark, intense, deep, mysterious, woody and smoky. Also I think the perfumery here is very well done because there's nothing that really sticks out or is very sharp and distinctive. Everything is very well blended, well put together and you can detect some hints of every accord and note that is listed in the note breakdown and advertising for this fragrance but there's nothing that really sticks out and is very sharp and unpleasant. You can detect the smokiness from the dark ebony woods, you can detect the slight glossy metallicness of the ink and vinyl accords and you'll pick up on some contrasting fruity and floral nuances and some resinous ambery smokiness as well which gives this fragrance depth and a variety of contrasting nuances and accords. So overall I think Tom Ford Black Lacquer is an amazing release from Tom Ford and as I said previously in my opinion one of the very best fragrances released in 2024 and I have decided to give Tom Ford Black Lacquer a 9 Point four out of 10 men's improvement rating. So on par in terms of my men's improvement rating system with Tom Ford Fougère d'Argent. So before I end this video off, what do you think of Tom Ford Black Lacquer? Have you tried it yet? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you think it's too expensive? Do you think it's somehow justifiable for the almost $400 price tag? Or do you think the Tom Ford brand has completely lost the plot since Tom Ford sold the brand? Leave all your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below i would love to see what you have to say down there gentlemen that was my review of the brand new 2024 release from tom ford tom ford black lacquer if you enjoyed this video gentlemen don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the men's improvement youtube channel for more videos about fragrances grooming style fashion skincare fitness watches everything that will make you gentlemen the best possible versions of yourselves the last few things that i want to ask you gentlemen is to smile more because it's free and i want you to watch these two videos right here this one here below is going to be my latest upload whereas this one up here is going to be the, the youtube algorithm things you will enjoy